got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Let's talk about pizza! Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. If you can't tell, we took a break and ordered pizza. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) what happened is Hutch had a completely different topic, and then we were drunk after the last segment. Brian had a beer, and now he's... I had a beer in two shots, <laughs> and I, I'm so easy. He saw a white claw up close and just oh, like God. got a little frisky. <laughs> I, I want to try that. I don't like seltzer water, though. Yeah. So okay. You're not going to like it. Yeah, <laughs> I think I've tried it before, and I was just the same alcoholic opinion. alcoholic seltzer it's, water. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I probably will. Okay. Yeah. I like cream drinks. It's not creamy at all. Cream no. drinks. <laughs> Give me my milk. <laughs> you you just want some more of that uh, George Ocean. That, that shit's good. I should I, like I should have brought that. When, when we'll bring love, it next time. What's it called? What's ocean. that drink called? <laughs> Coffee <laughs> milk. Punch. Ding. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it's back warm. when back when Booze Club was Booze Club. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I get so I gave her uh, Britney shit because she was like. Like, oh, I can't imagine anyone actually wanting to drink this again. <laughs> and it's just like, we drink it every year. Yeah, we do drink it all the time now. <laughs> it's, yeah, so good. it's not good. <laughs> it is good. I will, I will a good, fight everyone good. on that. Coffee, like the milk punch, or like the coffee punch was just coffee, milk, and ice. <laughs> okay, that, okay, yeah, we'll coffee, see. Liqueur, coffee, milk, milk and punch, ice. the drink wasn't very good, but just George Ocean by itself is a good sip in, like... <laughs> Good, like George Ocean, good coffee and, for, uh, for poppy and in the morning. Rum, <laughs> I like George Ocean and rum cream. Rum cream, yeah, yeah rum cream. it's good. God, the rum cream is really good. I got the like, rum cream is like too rum good. chata. It's kind of like that, except like less I, too. Still, I tried it. Less spice. I think we still have some in the fridge. Not here. Yeah, we do. What? Yeah, we do. What? <laughs> it's behind the water. Well, that's why I haven't seen it, and I haven't done anything with it. Sorry, you should clean out the fridge. More. Brian's <laughs> eyes are allergic to water, like so how... he just looks past Actually, it. I'm the only one that refills that shit. But yeah, we're three minutes in, and what we're talking about pizza, right? Uh, <laughs> pizza. I don't know. I kind of like where we were going, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I mean, we're, we're talking about so what, what kind of what kind of pizza is on the way to us right now? Uh, it's a uh, a uh, Pineapple and ham- no, it's not. Oh, yeah, uh, we- that's we're right. we're getting a um, pepperoni. Um, oh, you're trying to force mozz- this into a pineapple pizza question? Yes. Well, originally I wanted to do that, like uh, uh, pizza combinations. That what people- are your intentions with my podcast, Hutch? <laughs> your podcast. I just, just want to make you podcast. look good. <laughs> it's a dad thing, you know. So what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I don't know anymore. Me neither. That's about, you know what? I like. What are you drinking, Brittany? Going. How about that? Apple juice. <laughs> Apple juice. Yeah, I'm doing With coffee fireball. over here. <laughs> and fireball. Yeah, just Shit. stirred it all together. Litty, not shitty. How, how is that combination? It's good. It's really good. It doesn't seem like it would go I together. I think that's a much. shot. That's spicy. It's like an apple pie type mm. thing. I'm pretty sure it's a drink. Mm. I just made it one. <laughs> everyone, what is your favorite winter drink? Winter drink. Or like alcoholic? Any drink. drink. I don't care. I'm just talking here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me answers. I Give me conversation. I cannot uh, wait to make the thumbnail for this segment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my grandma always makes hot buttered rum. When she's hot buttered is that just rum? rum with butter in it? <laughs> I don't know how she makes it. But she's like, whenever you're sick, you should drink some hot buttered rum. <laughs> I don't know. In the in the winter, I'm a big fan of like any sort of like hot drink, like hot cocoa or apple cider that's been spiked. Mm. And eggnog is always good too. So I don't really have a winter drink. I drink summer drinks year round. <laughs> I drink tequila sunrises. It's always or, five o'clock in, or champagne. In How about that for a winter drink? Champagne, <laughs> champagne. Well, I mean, technically the New Year's does we're not all fancy. Fall. I, I mean, hold on. Oh, he's, oh out. Man, he's out. Brian left the table. <laughs> Brian <everyone>. has left. <laughs> it's been zero days since Brian's left the podcast. <laughs> uh, he, he is, he's got we a- are around this table all day, every day, <laughs> and Brian always leaves. We just pee our pants. Brian gets up and walks away. Okay, so what's your favorite pizza and drink combination? Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, I always end up ordering Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. Big surprise, right? Um, because you're an extreme teenager. I'm extreme, and I totally ordered some for our order today. 
Um, You're drinking champagne out of mar- margarita glass. <laughs> I didn't want to pull down the like champagne glasses that are plastic. <laughs> oh yeah, because those are fragile. Yeah, that, what? I understand. This, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your You're sparkle teeny bottle <laughs> Brian, tricked you. Brian opened a cap to discover another cap. <laughs> well, that um, was the champagne we were gonna drink when we celebrated our engagement, but <laughs> I guess <laughs> there's more where that came Brad's from. Brad's digging into it now. <laughs> we forgot, and we went to sleep. <laughs> we came home to watch a goofy movie, and we were like, "I am a little tired." <laughs> what was the goofy movie? It was quite the goof troop. The, the no, like, movie. what kind of goofy movie did you watch? No, we were going to watch a goofy movie. Which one, though? The goofy movie. <laughs> Which goofy movie? The Brian? one with Goofy and Max finding out that they're a terrible family <laughs> and tr- and doing everything for that mad pussy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that that bear pussy. You need help. She's a bear, right? <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> See a bear? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Brittany, bring in I'm your right? strong oh, she's hands. A, she's a, she's Solve a, this she's problem. A I just see. And we're going to find she's, out. They're all dogs. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> they are it's not going dog, to heaven, though. It's a dog universe. <laughs> all dogs go to heaven. No, Pete is a cat. Pete is a dog. No, they're buff dogs. Let's see. He's a bulldog. Yeah. Okay, then clearly my memory is a little fuzzy. Hutch is shook. Fan, Hutch is like, I gotta edit my fan fiction. My, my whole universe. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to edit Wikipedia and just like screw everyone's world up. Wikipedia. Like, no, I'm going to make my reality everyone's reality. <laughs> uh, I watched the Goofy movie, the second one. And an I, extremely goofy I've never movie? seen the second one before. It, it's, it's on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. It seems seen like it. it probably wouldn't be great. It wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's like the weird thing. I saw on Netflix, no one else will have the original one. But mm-hmm. the second one, yeah, no, whatever. Because it's, it's always like straight to like home video or Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like this Aladdin well, All the Disney stuff on Netflix is like slowly dying. S- speaking of straight to video, have you guys watched Letterkenny? Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, well, I love Letterkenny. Uh, what is that? Jared Kesso, the creator of it, and the yes. guy who plays Wayne, mm-hmm. he was apparently in The Marine 3. <laughs> Never even heard of the, the Marine straight, One. The straight the Marine is the Marine a John, John Cena, Cena yeah. movie. Oh, so is Mar- the Marine Two. Mm-hmm. But Jared Kesso is apparently <laughs> replacing John Cena in the Marine Three, a direct to video. So, so I approve of this for one reason. I have two people that I think need to uh, be the new Wolverine in the new Marvel movies, and that guy is one of them. Mm-hmm. I think he he's Canadian. He's he's like tough and gruff and everything that Wolverine should be. He's perfect for him. But I would also like Daniel Radcliffe to can, also play Wolverine. Can, so. can I just say real quick because um so have the you guys Marine seen three home front? Have you guys seen Deadpool 2? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so I started watching Deadpool 2 and then I saw the little like thing of Wolverine that he yeah. did, mm-hmm. but I hadn't seen Logan yet. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, wow. fuck. fuck. Oh. Well, no, I I I I figure that he died in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I was like, well, fuck it. I, I need to just watch it now. So I I watched <laughs> So I watched it and it was really nice mm-hmm. and um it was, it was it's so, a really emotional movie, it was right? So, it was crazy seeing um, um, uh, Xavier like in the state that he was in, yeah. like, with the dementia, and, like going crazy. And yeah, stuff. it was do, 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 the do, most do, X Men X Men movie. it felt like an X Men story, <laughs> right? Where it usually like it's just like regular like a uh, group movie or starring Wolverine movie. And it still was that, but it felt like an X Men story where, like, oh shit, everything is terrible, and we're dealing with it. Are we talking about Logan? Yeah, apparently yeah. we are. Oh, okay, yeah, it's it's a rad movie. It's good to see. I only watched sad, it once. And yeah, also I only watched it once too. Patrick Stewart. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> so apparently, the Miz, who is a world wrestling entertainment wrestler, oh, okay. it replaced John Cena as the main character. Neil McDonough is the main bad guy, who is just like. The hardest working actor in the world. Mm -hmm. He was the guy who was the army person that Jim Carrey in the Sonic movie talked shit to. He's everywhere. Oh, okay. He's everywhere. Uh, Jared Kesso was a character named Harkin, which I would guess is like the level two sub boss or some shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that I love Letter Kenny. I think it, uh, I was not. I was surprised by how much I got into that. Yeah, I'm, I got I got him into it. I'm in. Mm. I'm up. I've watched five of the seven seasons so yeah. far. I haven't watched season six or seven yet. I could see it appealing to Brittany because, yeah. like, we both like that kind of language play. Mm-hmm. Um, I was and surprised I'm glad, that but I got I'm, into it. I'm yeah. I'm glad that you liked it because I think it's. It, it wasn't just fucking the, funny. The language play was a big part of it. For me, it was just tonally um, the tone for it. Reminded it reminded you of your hometown? It reminded, no, it reminded me more of just like this bullshit right here. Yeah. <laughs> like where we just make up weird inside jokes and they just build on top of each other and <laughs> yeah. on top of each other. And I felt like I was like, it was one of those shows where I felt like I was hanging out with friends. Yeah. Which is the most condescending sounding thing ever, but... I, no, I don't think it is, but, like, you feel like you're a... It's a connection thing. It, yeah. You get to feel like you're a part of this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, And it's also a very difficult thing for any media to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always enjoy it when it does happen, though. Yeah. I, I just looked up Litter Kinney on Wikipedia, mm-hmm. and it's written by... Um, four people whose first names start with the letter J. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean who's who's the outlier? Trevor. Trevor Risk. Risk. <laughs> All right. The risk was too too great. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Um, I think you would actually like that yeah, show. Yeah, I think Hutch, you'd probably like it. Because especially if you like The Office. No, it's not the same. Is it cr- like no? Cr- it's no, not it's nowhere near. Like okay. Cringy. Okay. Good. Because like The Office, it's I, mostly I, like a dialogue show. It's just like. A couple of friends sitting around. Yeah, uh, and it's just about their everyday lives in this little town. Oh, I can I can dig that because I feel like a lot of Tarantino's movies are yeah, dialogue based, yes. and I really enjoy it's it. It's like, like that, that but we'll, also they get said that word a lot. It was super Wonderful. intriguing because they're all Canadian, so they have a lot of weird Canadian slang that I had to get used to. Where I was like, yeah. "What the fuck are they saying?" And like. For a while, I had to put subtitles up. And then I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I get what they're saying now. Uh, my favorite thing is I was going out shopping, and I saw someone wearing a Letterkenny uh, uh, jersey. Uh, it was the, uh, what were they, the Clovers, was it? Because they're Irish or some bullshit. I can't remember. Mm. Uh, but it was the uh, the female team. Yeah. It was like... I think they were the Cloverettes or yeah, something. Yeah, that's stupid. Some that's what they were complaining about. Anyways, like, so he's wearing sense. like their jersey, right? And he went around and he just all all over the place. He wasn't doing this for me. He wasn't doing this for anyone that I could real I could notice. He was just going picking up things, going fucking embarrassing, and sitting them down. <laughs> and he, I just followed him for a minute, and he just pick up things, go fucking embarrassing yeah that's a person (laughs) you want to get to know and i was just like i just followed this person all the way to the uh especially you yeah (laughs) hey i see you there person living your own life existing (laughs) only to amuse yourself yeah i was so proud of this person (laughs) i was just like i didn't want like the problem was just like the er the overall urge for me was to go like i was behind them in the checkout line too i was like fucking embarrassing i wanted to say it i wanted to say it. i didn't say you should it. have picked you one have. item out yeah. of his like checkout experience uh-huh. and said like uh apricots <laughs> <Fucking embarrassing. laughs> but the thing is is i also just didn't want to like taint the situation I oh was yeah in. you wanted so, it to be it perfect like, so yeah. the thing so, that you could lock an amber and i was just like this was a beautiful moment that I just had for 15 minutes, <laughs> and, I, and then it went away. And I actually, I think I came home and I thanked Brittany. I was like, "Thank you for getting me into that show because I would have never, <laughs> I would have never experienced that magical moment." Yeah, honestly, that show was worth it for that. Yeah, it's worth it for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I talked to a couple people at work about it. Yeah, a lot of people work watch it. It's really strange to me because <clears throat> I usually don't watch passive entertainment. Yeah. So when I'm actually caught unless up you're on ellipticalizing. Something, it's really strange, yeah. And I'm I'm actually planning on watching the new season of Castlevania that way. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I I can actually talk to people at work because they're always like, "Oh, Brian, you should watch this show." I'm like that's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just usually up front, like, "Uh, uh-huh, no." That's what is terrible. this a women's wrestling show? No, thank you. <laughs> it's always like uh, the one that um. The one, the only one that slightly appeals to me that just ended recently is The Good Place. Mm. I still haven't watched it. I've heard good I've things. And Ted of, Danson's handsome. I, I love Ted Danson. I watched a couple episodes of that, and I was like, eh, it's okay. 
For me, like the only show I'm really interested in that uh, I'm excited about was a show that had Steve Buscemi in it and David Radcliffe. <laughs> and I forgot what it's called, but Steve Buscemi is God and Daniel Radcliffe is an angel. And he's uh, and you said Steve- David Radcliffe at first. And I was he like, did. I don't know who that is. Sometimes but- with Brian, he does like <laughs> verbal typos. Yeah. yeah. And I just have to like stick along for the ride. Well, I know I'm explaining how to interact with your boyfriend <laughs> 10 years but it's true listen let a man handle yeah, this situation okay. well, <laughs> Ooh, wow you just mansplained the conversation that was the joke that was, so joke. Good. I love that you was so the much. joke ryan i know well daniel rack i'm giving the, this meat pile of bullshit Going that we just off did the rails on the Swayze train. this is a great subject thank you the, the, I'm, I'm officially uh tiling this casual chat with heat <laughs> anyway that's good and, Casual Friday. And yes. uh, anyways, does this come out on a Friday? <laughs> this Third. is a Wednesday. 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 Let's Wednesday. move it to a Friday. <laughs> okay. Let's we'll just put the whole episode and the segment out. People won't understand <laughs> why. By the way, pizza's on the way. Awesome. Pizza's on the way. Perfect. Oh. Maybe we can get the pizza guy in our Hot podcast. And fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> but no, so the first season was like Steve Pusimi is God and th- Daniel Radcliffe is a, an angel. So who's you joked to solve about stuff. getting the pizza person on the podcast. I wonder what would happen if Hutch aimed a microphone at him and said, "How do you feel about the allegations against Domino's Pizza?" <laughs> are, are there allegations? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably somewhere. Well, they're gonna ask. What yeah, it is. You got to think of some pizza crimes. <laughs> <laughs> pizza crimes. Oh, no, Dude, all I know about Domino's Pizza is like super nerdy internet shit where they are suing somebody because they're saying that their oh, pizza yeah. website doesn't need to be Americans with Disabilities oh. Act compliant. So that was actually a conversation that we had at work. Yeah. So we made our website. <clears throat> Everyone, because go that. ADA compliant. Go W3C uh, yes. Also, Ally, Ally, uh, A L L I Y. Compliance is a really good thing to do. I love spelling. Uh, have meta information, image alt information, use procedural H tags, and just do reasonable shit on the internet. This is really weird going back from like champagne to coffee back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would think so. <laughs> We uh, when, it, when I was in college, we got our uh, pizza guy to do a keg stand with us. Nice. Mm. I'm sure the pizza person who comes to the door, if it's our usual delivery person, is just wants to get out of here. <laughs> It'll as fast just be a heavy sigh. He sees Frank in the background. <laughs> oh, he's one of these motherfuckers again. <laughs> yeah. He is always just like, "What the fuck is going on in this living room?" Because yeah. it's always a different configuration every time he comes here. <laughs> okay. And also, you're just like barking like a banshee and flapping your arms. I'm 100. Yeah. Certain that's that they I, think that survive. we just do porn in here with like, like yeah, he, he's curtains. looking for the gal in the loop. <laughs> yeah. The curtains are definitely like We're, throwing people off. Yeah. Where's the barrel? <laughs> Perfect. The fuck barrel. We're doing great. <laughs> that fuck barrel. Sounds like a, that sounds like a new genre. <laughs> fuck barrel dot business. Don't, don't steal. <laughs> are you giving the barrel to business? Or is the barrel giving the original business? website? <laughs> it's a business that sells fuck barrels. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Oh, did you see well, how much money people on OnlyFans are making this this week? Yeah. So OnlyFans was trending it on was Twitter. Only one person. Who no, made no, that much a money. lot of people posted this. Now the one person I told you about was like the naked philanthropist or whatever. Mm-hmm. She made like a quarter million dollars what? in February. <laughs> oh, she, I she, told she, you about this person. A person that raised money for like all oh, the yeah. Alaska, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Alaska is the same as Australia. So. Exactly. The the age, age, the I mean, you can fire. see them from the porch of your house in Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I mean, good for like, them. Good for good for them. Show me them titties and make that money. <laughs> they did a very good marketing thing by raising money for Australia being on fire. But here's the thing: OnlyFans was trending on Twitter, and at first it was kind of like a really great meme joke. Yeah, but all these girls and some men started posting their money and their livelihood based yeah. on OnlyFans. And like, there's this one person who yeah, has Patreon sucks. Yeah, compared to oh, does it? Yeah. Follow us on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon sucks for porn people. Patreon sucks for a lot of things. Yeah, like if you have anything 
that we should start an OnlyFans. Is that what you're telling me? Fuck it, let's do let's it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get some new wardrobe. Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be a leather daddy hutch? Yes, I'm so excited. Patreon and has terrified. weird shit. I'm, I'm the power. I wish I had the power bottom. So. Like a lot of their systems can be easily subverted or like manipulated like and Santa. shit like that. It's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, I'm not that bottom. No, that's fine. That is a power bottom. I just had to get my daddy. words out. <laughs> Wow. I'm so happy right now. I love it. I love all of it. <laughs> I really hope that you guys watched the last episode and then watched this one. Yeah. Yeah, no, know. I hope they watched it out of this context. This one this really is <laughs> fucking magical. All right, well. Bye. 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 Pizza's up next. Congratulations. 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 I'm stopping this at bye, so don't even bother. <laughs> no. You're going to forget to do it. And We're I'm talking gonna to you, it. though. Congratulations. Oh, you finished editing the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No, I haven't. I got a segment to go.